My brothers and sisters in Christ, I am too tired to be an extremist. Logic and reason are my pedestals. Faith is my motor and hope, hope is my, my fuel. I want you to take time to read this book called The Warning by a, name, by a lady by the name of Watkins. There's a copy of the, of the cover as you leave. If you don't have time, read the first 80 pages. If you do not have the time, that's on you. I'm asking you to read this book. I have researched the book. I have went back to four people that I take counsel with. St. Faustina, Padre Pio, St. Paul VI, who wrote Humana Vitae, St. Pius IX, who wrote the Immaculate Conception. All four of them are quoted in this book as having what they call a warning, a mini judgment for some 10 to 15 minutes. They believe that everybody in the world at one time will receive what they call a mini judgment, which means God, you will see yourself as God sees you. Think about it. It's logical. How do you impact the boy in the Amazon? How do you impact New York City? Maybe you don't. What about the West Coast? What about Russia? What about Taiwan and Japan? What about Amy, Louisiana? How do you impact everybody equally so that you can never tell God, you never told me, I got nothing. What do you mean you're judging me in the book of Revelations with everything I did with my body, both good and evil? My brother and sister in Christ, it's logical that he's going to have to stick his finger in this. There are actually two priests in that book. One I know personally, Father Rick Wendell. I thought his argument was spot on. Actually, somebody who had the 15-minute revelation. I've been knowing Rick for quite a while. There's also another guy in there by the name of Father Stephen Shure. You need to read his in particular. The one that is from South America, Father Juan knows personally. He said he is the St. Paul. I want you to read the book. I need you to understand that, look, if what I say is wrong and I'm all wet, at least you're well read. But if I'm right, then you and I know what's coming. Then you need to be prepared. Peter was right. You've been forewarned. Look, this isn't fear and trepidation. Do what you do best. Go to Mass. Receive the sacraments. Go to confession. For the love of Christ, start going to adoration. I don't care if it's for five minutes a week. If you're on your cell phone more than you're talking to Christ, and I'm telling you, talking to him, with nobody else in the room, with a Bible in your hand and a rosary in your hand, and you're talking to him. If you spend more time on the, on the cell phone than you do talking to him, then can I tell you, our judgment is going to be brutal. It will do one of three things. You will see yourself as God sees you, which means you'll be either going to heaven, hell, or purgatory. Oh, that's right. You don't believe in purgatory. Okay, so for those that don't, you only got two shots now. Go back and read Philippians 2. Stop looking for an English word in a book written in Greek. My brother in Christ, he's warning you that only a loving, caring God would do. He loves you and I so much. He says, if I don't warn my children what is to come, then who else is to blame? I'm telling you, take the time to read the book. How hard is it? My brother, look at the world. You're telling me you wake up every morning and life is good? You think it's going to get better just because? Is Everything Paul Harvey said 50 years ago is not 100% true. Do as you please. 
my brother and sister in Christ, read the book. Pick your head up. Do what you do best. Stay close to the church and her teachings. And when his judgment comes, and if it does come, then so be it. You and I will be better served for it and we'll be one step closer. And man, we'll be thanking God in heaven that we were part of his church. I leave you with this, or I can again leave you with the words of St. Peter, 2 Peter. Brothers and sisters, I have forewarned you. Be on guard. Bend that knee. Get that head up. And if the judgment comes, then so be it. Because our job is to get to heaven anyway. Amen? Amen. Amen. Amen.